We definitely want to get some patrol. When we sent our cool dad into a liquor store to buy alcohol for his 16-year-old son, reactions were extreme. You can't sell it to him because you know Go it now. Mom. You can't sell it to him. And I'm going to stay here. Call the Monroe Township Police. Now we want to see how customers will react if they see a mother with her underage daughter. We prep our actors and then let the cameras roll. We'll do vodka for mixed drinks and we'll do shots. I'm really uncomfortable with this. We do not need all of that, Mom. I'm 16. It doesn't take long for customers to express their disapproval. We're just a few minutes in when our mom strikes up a conversation with these shoppers. Do you guys know, um, I'm sorry, do you know how to make a punch? I just don't know what goes, so like fruit juices and... Mom, can we just have non-alcoholic yeah, drinks? Yeah, yeah but I mean... alcohol in a 16 birthday party. Well, why not? I mean, all the kids are drinking these days, you know. I wouldn't, but, so don't ask me. They're all drinking. I know, but I don't think I would. No, I wouldn't have it in my house, so I'm a good teacher. So. Why wouldn't you have it in your house? Because I don't want to condone... 16-year-olds drinking. I don't want the responsibility for that. Later, we meet Stephanie Klika, an elementary school teacher. You're too stupid. Daiquiris. She's oh, how about strawberry daiquiris? Yeah, I think the virgin ones are a good idea without any alcohol. So what kind of alcohol goes in the daiquiris? I was going to say virgin daiquiris. She's only 16. I think that's a good idea. Is that the one with the rum or the... She's oh, underage. When Michelle pushes back, Stephanie holds her ground. But don't ki all kids drink, though. <laughs> what I did when I was 16. <laughs> I teach the kids in school to make healthy choices. I don't think that the mom should be buying alcohol for a 16-year-old daughter. A few customers even helped Tess fight the battle that she couldn't seem to fight herself. Your 16-year-old daughter is standing in this liquor store shouting at you that she doesn't want this stuff for her friends at her party. This is... I mean, okay. <laughs> I just want her to fit in and have a good party. Wow. I'm not even gonna... She, if she is telling you she could have a good party without all the alcohol, I would listen to her. Not Kids love to do tequila shots. No, we don't. I don't even do tequila shots. <laughs> you f***ing man. Then Michelle strikes up a conversation with these cousins. Frank LaLoya and Matt Jenkins. I would say no. I would be hesitant too. So you guys are party poopers. I mean, what are they supposed to do at the party? He's the biggest party animal you'll ever meet in your whole life, but he's also a ruled guy. And it's, if it's not that 21, you go to jail, her someone gets sick, they die, alcohol poisoning, that they could have. Yeah, alcohol poisoning is no joke. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It absolutely is no joke. I don't think we should. But these are little Doesn't shots. matter. She has her whole life to drink. Wait till you're 21. Instead of heeding their advice, our mom starts pushing her daughter to drink. I, do, I want her to fit in and be popular. I don't to think fit in by being a nice person. Do some clubs at school. People like nice people. I do the science club, but she doesn't think that's enough. That's perfect. My dad was a science teacher, greatest guy in the dump. I just I want her to be cool and have pop. I'm going to be drinking with them, and my husband is too. We're all going to be drinking together. Doesn't matter, especially the friends. Hey, boys. I'm John Quinones. What would you do? That was pretty spectacular. Yeah. <laughs> she was having a party for the kids, trying to get yeah. them alcohol. Yeah, well, typical, I guess. And you said no right away. Yeah, no. No way. Absolutely. Yeah, like I said, I'm a teacher myself, and I just... You know, it's like having one of my kids in that situation. I would never want that. So you'd, you'd yeah, just be no. guilty, you know? Yeah. Couldn't, couldn't go to sleep knowing that that would happen. In the end, these good guys offer up some great advice. Friends I have now, I didn't make them because I drank. I'll tell you that too. Yeah. I, she has, she doesn't have a lot of friends, and I just want her to have a boyfriend. She'll have friends. I want She'll her to have, have a boyfriend. Seat. I mean, you gotta give her a break. You, you, you just, you. You be who you are, people are going to like that. That's how life is.